Hello to y'all. Nice to have you in. You see what's going on all across the country in your state, California, <laughs> in your state, New York. <laughs> yep. um, yeah. Used to live in New York. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mick, they're not in South Carolina yet. Maybe we'll, we'll see. But uh, w what's, the, what's the response here, Denise? What should the response here be? I mean, there's so many things to respond to, and it's been ongoing, and I feel like the reason that we don't have any real action or anything changing and it's getting more and more chaotic in response to all the anti-Semitic acts that have been taking place is because that nobody has declared any sense. There's no sense of what's right and what's wrong, and even in how we protest. We can all disagree as to what side of this conflict we fall on. I'm clear on the side that I'm on, but... I'm totally fine with someone disagreeing so long as they do so in a way that acknowledges that there are other people and rights at stake and that their right to protest is an absolute. What, what's the right response here, Max? Well, I, I mean, I didn't see any violence here today, so this is America. You, know, you, you have that constitutional right. Mm -hmm. I think the Google employees are, are acting they very be, strangely. Should because, they be fired? I mean, they should do their job, you know, like I just find the whole thing kind of weird. Like they're, they're all extraordinarily privileged and they're they're making a lot of money and they they don't care about unions. They don't care. They don't they don't do they don't march for anything along those lines. And suddenly they come out for this issue. It's very weird. And there's extraordinary cognitive dissonance. <laughs> Get fired. Not they're just totally irrelevant. I mean, um, yeah, look, if you have a moral uh, obligation or a moral disagreement with what your employer does, then you quit. I mean, other places right. to work. Yeah, you don't need the police. Yeah to get in there and arrest you to remove you from your place of work. No, because that's different than, I would say, blocking a bridge, which I don't I don't support, but I support their idea to be able to protest. There's nothing okay. more American than be able to. But so, so what about, what about this? What about this yeah. idea, though, from the Washington Examiner? Make blocking traffic a federal crime. By the way, two Republican senators, uh, Marsha Blackburn, Tom Tillis, have already introduced what's known as the Safe and Open Streets Act that would essentially do just yes, that. Sir. Yeah. I think if you are obstructing a federal road, a federal roadway, an interstate, or if you are obstructing access to an airport. That could qualify legitimately as a federal crime, and I would not object to that uh, being penalized harshly as you, such. You too good with that? Absolutely you're, you're not. Not, not a, not a chance. I mean, we have enough laws in the books. We don't need to create new laws to overcriminalize behavior. And now do you want to start really having the courts trying to figure out what's no. protest on a federal road, what's not? If you thought well, January no, 6th was pretty, bad, but those imagine are pretty well now defined, trying Michael. to figure out... I'm not for no. more federal involvement in you any state that. and local issues. They should enforce federal. the law. The Supreme Court has consistently placed content-neutral restrictions. I'm just going back Ooh, to the Tom I was Hall just one. about to say. Yeah, I said Georgetown. <laughs> um, oh, yes. You know... They've always placed content neutral restrictions. They have time, place, and setting mm -hmm. restrictions. And your right to protest cannot infringe on my right to exactly. freedom and movement. Right. But but there are absolute no, absolutely no. No, but it go, should never. Go back to the law school 101. No, time, that's your place, and manner restrictions. 100%. The ACLU says on its website, I went and looked, and it said very clearly that you cannot restrict the movement of others. So, and your I mean, right, but this under, is the ACLU. Under that logic, you wouldn't have been able, marchers wouldn't have been able to march through Alabama and not be able to you know, cross I'm telling you roads. what people like, on your side of the aisle are saying yeah. and what the Supreme Court is. What is the You can't have a different assessment of what that means. What is the box, Max, that this has put President Biden in with, yeah. his, with his base and with the left? Because this is now just, oh, it's happening here. Oh, sprinkle it in over there. It's I mean, this is mm -hmm. now day after day, week after week, month after month as we see it. So I think that it's very important to separate where Biden's base is versus where the, you know, a very small group of folks are at who literally are protesting against Israel after 300 missiles were lobbed at Israel, which, again, Shocking. is just a, it, it is very odd. That's not where the vast majority of the Democratic base is. Now, don't get me wrong, Democratic base is not blindly pro-Israel and wants Israel held to a standard and certainly wants a cessation of violence and wants the hostages returned, which has been Joe Biden's position. And it does seem, based off what he's recently said, that a ceasefire... Um, is is imminent so but the, these these protests is not that i don't believe that's where the base is at he's okay. worried about michigan 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 right he is. it's gone from florida 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 to michigan 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 yeah, absolutely yeah. Uh, that's and his that one state is, solution well yeah yeah, yeah Doug, good good line mix but no but Thank that you. is but that, that it is it is a good line and it's true that is his one state solution and that is his problem it's not so much that but they are a minority of americans they are but where yeah. they are constantly real quick yeah. think about how insane that is donald trump started his presidency with the muslim ban and now we're talking about it was not 
the fact, Muslim ban. It, he, he calls it the Muslim ban every time he goes ban. in front of a crowd. It was not now we're talking ban. about whether or not Joe Biden is going to be able to Yeah, and they're still upset with him that they're the willing Muslim to vote, vote for Trump. That's what they're saying now. You know, I think the bigger picture right. here is really how would you feel if you were a Jewish anyone of Jewish descent, and you had people all around you unrestrictedly with zero, you know, restraint. Yeah. Can you imagine any other ethnic group ever coming under this kind of scrutiny for being Jewish? And you, I have thought, of, we've seen it in other, it's not right no matter who Absolutely. it's done to. By the way, that's I, the big I point. would just know. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.